I want to show you guys how to make a popcorn garland today. This is a, a very budget friendly option. It's way easier than I thought. I'm going to teach you the tips and the tricks. Growing up, I just really wanted to have a crazy looking Christmas tree. I had this really perfect Christmas tree. And then I had my aunt and my uncle. They had popcorn garland on their tree. Popcorn on their tree. You weren't allowed to have tinsel in the house. I wasn't even allowed to touch the walls. I tried to make it and I failed. I couldn't make it. I'm gonna teach you. You just need stale popcorn. What? Four ingredients you need? This is it. That's all you need. It's so easy. Some popcorn and cranberries are like a really versatile holiday decoration thing. These are awesome. Let's get into it. I get a little depressed being a single mom during Christmas. So I'm so excited this Christmas. This is actually the first Christmas since knowing my ex that my Christmas has not been ruined. Subscribe to the channel to be notified when I make the video telling you guys what happened with my breakup. It was literally tragic. There was like three Christmases in a row that I was so heartbroken. Instead of like feeling sorry for myself because I don't have a husband or whatever the other thing, I've been feeling so sad like other Christmases. I don't get to sit with my husband and like watch the kids open up gifts like the people on the TV do. It's really easy to get roped into comparisonitis of your family and your life during the holidays. But if you find yourself doing that, just stop going on social media. The holidays are such a hard time for people. Make some nice little traditions and just realize that whatever you're going through, people are all going through it. Seriously. You know, I don't have a perfect life. I don't have a fireplace. <laughs> Man, the holidays are messed up. They got you all messed up for like two months. Anyway, this is the first Christmas that I'm like really back to myself. Air pop popcorn and cranberries, okay? That's what we need. This is the key, guys, the key. The popcorn needs to be stale. You need to make it the day before it. That's why my first one didn't work because I tried to do fresh popcorn. It was just cracking and breaking and I was like, what is life? What is life? You just need stale popcorn. Do a lot of classic mom stuff. I made this wreath. You guys want to learn how to make a wreath? I'll show you. It's easy. So easy. And so fun. Guys, I made these. I put some berries in my wreath. I can make another garland of just cranberries and hang it in this garland. The possibilities are endless, guys. The possibilities really are endless. This is a series I'm trying to call Bad Girl Good Mom. I'm bad. Trust me. You don't even know. <laughs> bad girl but i'm a good mom that's why i make crafts for the holidays and growing up i just really wanted to have a messy all-american italian crazy looking christmas tree i have this issue where i feel like everybody just wants me to stop talking and shut up so growing up i had this really perfect christmas tree i'll see if i can find a picture of it for you guys and it was like decorated to the nines really high and everything was just so and then i had my aunt and my uncle and they had popcorn garland on their tree they had tinsel I love it. I seriously think it's awesome. I should be like working some cranberries into my wreath, shouldn't I? There's something about having like a funky popcorn decorated tree that's like really old fashioned, old school, homey to me. I remember the first time I tried. It must've been my first Christmas with the kid's dad living in Boston. I tried to make it, I couldn't make it. I'm gonna teach you how to get yourself a popcorn garland quick. It's way easier than I thought. Ridiculously easy and it doesn't even take that long. It's very festive. Oh, also bonus. I'm gonna show you how to make a cranberry garland too. Cranberries! Hopefully this video is not cringe. I'm gonna go with it because I love making videos and this is my channel, so, you know? <laughs> I went to a party this weekend. Locked and loaded to go party with Alex and Ari. Yeah! I brought him a holiday chair. Merry Christmas, bitch! Oh my God, I had to make an entrance. I had to pee so bad. Let's party. You can use microwave popcorn. I like to use regular. The microwave popcorn looks like it's got some yellow gunk all over it. I made one the other day, so I'm looking at it on the tree. Use regular popcorn if you can. Air pop popcorn, no butter. That's the best way. I actually made mine in this cool microwave popper that my sister got me. Look, I got this from Secret Santa or from whatever, Nasty Christmas. You fill it up with kernel, fill the top, and that's the measuring. Put it in the microwave and regular air pop popcorn can be made in the microwave in this thing. It's amazing. It made it really quick to make all that popcorn. I didn't have to shake around a pot, use a stove. I felt pretty clever with that. And now also cranberries. You can put these outside and the birds can eat them when you're done. That's exciting to me. Did you guys smile at anyone by the way? Well guys, I have a really good video. I have a video. I was outdoor dashing the other day. Okay, no, sorry, sorry. 
Sorry, stay on task. We are making garlands. I was at DoorDash yesterday and I was smiling at everybody and it made their day and I was trying to like pump other girls up to smile at guys, older guys. Smile at everyone, guys, women, sorry, I forget. We're not just smiling at guys. They are the ones who appreciate. No, women appreciate. Go forth and smile. Watch my video about the power of your smile and then go share a smile with them. Well, my good vibes are, are attracting the cats. There's two of them. She's a baby, oh my goodness. You need scissors. These are my needle point scissors. Aren't they beautiful? There you go. Thread and this is on my needle. Oh, I spilled coffee on the table this morning. Oops. You want to choose a needle with the biggest hole. Don't make it difficult on yourself. This is it. That's all you need. My dad's done it with floss. Here we go, guys. It's so easy. The one trick is that you don't want to make it too long, but you also don't want to make it too short. You can make it in arm length segments, basically. I make it in, I think, about four foot sections. So hard to get needles out. Oh! <laughs> I knew how to make wreaths and garlands. I made that garland. I made all the wreaths and garlands in my house this year with forage local green, which I I almost didn't trespass. Most of them, most of them are from my property and my, my family's property, but I won't lie. There were a couple of trees I needed to pull over and I was like, you know what? These are God's trees. That's the thing. You can say I'm trespassing, but these, this is God's earth. These are God's trees. I pay taxes. So pretty much I consider anything that I can reach on the road or without going into your house as mine. Actually, might've dug up some native plants they're mine. They're gods. Nobody owns them but God. So here, so I think that's probably about what? Four feet, let's say. And then I pull a little more. I pull a little more. They actually get long really quick because popcorn's like pretty wide. Every time you put a piece of popcorn on, you're adding like an inch to it. And I just make a, I make what I call like a dirty knot. You just kind of like really get a lot of that. You want it to be a thick, fat knot. It's like a fly. Now you have your thread and your needle. You guys know how to thread a needle and double it, right? I mean, I'm, assu uh, that, I'm assuming you know how to do that. And then guys, you take your popcorn. The best place to enter the popcorn is right here. That's your ideal entry point. Okay. That's where you want your needle going through, right through this. Nice and soft in there. Under here, it's kernel territory. Danger zone. Do not put your needle through that part. Put it through the head right there. You got it. <laughs> I've been waiting to pull out this whiteboard for the YouTube channel for a while. I was like, oh, I can show them diagram. Get it, get it. Thought that'd be fun. Class, where's the best place to enter the popcorn, huh? The fattest part. All that yellow, the kernel. The kernel's really hard to get through. <laughs> the kernel's really hard to get through and it will crack and it'll make your popcorn. It'll break your popcorn. So look guys, we have the first piece of popcorn on our popcorn garland. How cool is that? You just keep going. You just put a TV show on that you like. You put on Bar Rescue. Oopsies, do you have Paramount Plus? You should watch Bar Rescue. I love watching Bar Rescue. Okay, so see, you go through that big fat part at the top, see? Makes it really easy. Then you just pull it through and you have two pieces. Look at that, that's awesome, guys. You just keep going and I already have some I've made to show you. Now, sometimes I like to get a little crazy. This year, I feel like it doesn't go with the theme of my tree as much. I'm doing like a pastel candy theme. But what if we put maybe six pieces, if it breaks, I'll sometimes still try to use it. But sometimes it's not really worth it because it's not as big anymore. I love putting the needle through the cranberry. It's so satisfying. Yes. Guys, this is fun to do. Trust me. You can do, oh my God. <laughs> You can do one cranberry and then start some more popcorn. One cranberry and then like six more pieces of popcorn. Hopefully I don't look so chubby in this video. Got my gut here. Oops. <laughs> I'm wearing my daughter's sweatpants. They're a little tight. Whatever. I am what I am. Hey, cat. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to make more holiday videos. I'm on how to make wreaths and garlands, which is really easy. And I'm going to make a video on how to make homemade eggnog. Maybe I'll make that video on how to make cream puffs. Oh no, I, I will actually because I filmed that video with my kids. I filmed a video on how to make classic cream puffs with the kids. If you use more than one cranberry, it's a fun thing to do with the kids. Look, see? Oh, it's because the cat. There you go. You can get it like that too. <laughs> Right? Pretty fun, pretty cool. And like, you can do this while you watch TV or like a Christmas movie with the kids I try to put on. It's like a nice peaceful thing to do next to the Christmas tree. This year, my Christmas tree was a little delayed in decorating it because I lost the lights. So today the lights are getting delivered from Amazon. There you have it guys, that's how to make a garland.
this one, what do I like? I think I like the idea of not combining them. I'm gonna make the rest of this one just cranberries because I already have a bunch of just popcorn ones. And this way, at the end, I'll be able to show you, well, a, a full cranberry one and a full popcorn one. So that's it, guys. I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna have my third cup of coffee. I have an AI workshop that I'm learning today to use AI for my YouTube channel. I also wanna do a video where I let AI tell me what to do for a whole day. <laughs> So if you guys want to see that video, subscribe to the channel. Please hit the video with a like if you found this helpful or enjoyable to watch so that the YouTube algorithm can suggest it to other people and other girls can find these videos. Bad girls trying to be good moms. Be both. Trust. <laughs> and the kids know I'm bad too. The kids' friends, they definitely know I'm bad. My son's friends tell him, Dylan, I'm going to marry your mom and be your stepdad. Doing these long ways, because they're easier. If you do them long ways, you're, you're not gonna have to use as many cranberries, right? See, look, I was doing them short ways. Like this one's short ways. That one's short, these are short ways. But then this one's long ways. You know, you can see the difference. I guess that, that would change the look of them. When you're an artistic person, it makes a difference. I could go every other one. I'm gonna do some long, some short, and then I can show you. I think the wide actually is a little better. Hi. That's Lulu. Lulu. She's the dumb one. Oh, she's so sweet. She's so smooth. She feels like black silk. Ow. Ow. Christmas can be a weird time of year, but you know what? So many people have it so much worse. The holidays are such a hard time for people. Holidays are rough for people, and I don't know if it's just all about capitalism or what, but I just try to make the best of it, you know? The holidays, the sentimentality is hard for me. The kids growing up is hard for me. Uh, being single is hard for me, for sure. The holidays make you feel depressed. The holidays make me feel a little depressed, and something that helps is to not go on social media as much. Seeing all these people with their holiday memories and like their four people families and stuff, it makes me feel like I am lacking something that I know I'm not. I have my own family. My family just looks different than theirs. Just stop going on social media. Today, I legit opted not to open my Instagram first thing because every time I do, it's like, it makes me feel worse than the last time. Look, I'm gonna do a social media detox. You guys can join me on that too. Aw, I like them long ways. So this is how they look short ways. Here's how it looks with popcorn and cranberry combined. See? This is how it looks when they're short, and then this is how it looks when they're long, when they're done long ways. That's, I think that's my personal favorite. I think I like just the cranberries long. So I think I'm going to do just popcorn and just cranberry. Oh, but you also could do one last idea. What if we did one and one, one and one? One piece of popcorn, one cranberry. I'm gonna be finding these cranberries in my house for a long time. I have a feeling they're like rolling a little bit. I wore this jacket to a party this weekend. I thought it'd be festive. It was. Hopefully somebody watches this and learns. I hope you guys learned to make a popcorn growler from this video. And I hope that you actually go on to make one. It's really fun. I think it's fun for the kids. I just remember going to my aunt's house and I was like, there's popcorn on this tray. I was excited. It was awesome. It's very old fashioned and I make it every year. One year my dad made it for me, he came over. I was like, oh my God. I legit thought that it was a lot harder than it was. I think I had already done it. I don't know maybe if I had done it at that point or if I was just talking about it. He came over with a little paper grocery bag with the popcorn garland. Like he like watched TV and made it one night. Oh, dads, call your dad. Tell him you love him. I will shortly here. Oh yeah, my Christmas lights are gonna come for the tree. I'm gonna do my Christmas lights outside. I thought I lost the, the lights for the tree, but I think I actually just put them outside for a party this summer. So it's okay, now I have enough. I'm trying not to spend any money on extra, extra things this Christmas. I'm trying to keep it real. Oh, also I'm doing money saving videos, uh, like money saving challenges. You should <gasps> okay, that's cute. Look at that one guys. Yes, yes, no. Guys, okay, oh, I spilled. This is how it looks. It's heavy. The, the cranberries do make it actually really heavy. <laughs> now I'm all tangled up. I played myself. Ugh. Good news is, is that if you get really tangled up, like I am right now, you can like legit just stop it <laughs> and start a new one. It doesn't really matter how long they are because you can piece them all together on the tree on its way. So what I want to do here is just actually clean up this popcorn and then I'm gonna show you how this looks on the tree. I made a mess. It's what happens when you're having fun. Wanna see how they look on the tree? So, let's see. 
So this is the way the regular popcorn looks on the tree. That would be how the cranberry would look. Guys, look how cute those are together. Look how cute that is. We're doing a sweets and candies theme on the tree. Guys, look how cute those are together, right? And then I even have my candy garland, which you'll be able to see once I get the lights on. So there's almost like sugared candy and popcorn. Oh, that's really pretty, guys. Oh, I love just the cranberry. I love just the cranberry. That looks really, really nice. Guys, look at my garlands in the background. I made those all myself with stuff that was foraged from my yard and my family's yard. That's so cool. Okay, so this is how it would look if it was, you know, the mixed one. Mixed one's cute. Mixed one's cute. Yeah, mixed one. Mixed one's really cute. Flat berry look or the wide berry. I like the flat berry look. Flat berries lay a little better. That's my favorite way to do it. Cranberries are so cheap. Popcorn is so cheap. It's like the cheapest way to decorate your tree. If you just had simple lights and this on your tree, that would be a beautifully decorated tree and just some plain balls. This is adorable and I love it. And I really hope that you guys, I hope that someone makes a garland because of me. I really want you guys to do this. In closing, I think that's the most fun you can have. For like five, six bucks, you can make just a bunch of festive cranberries things. I should make some videos for uses for cranberries. I saw this video where they made cranberry cocktail in mason jars with sugar and water and cranberries. That'd be kind of a cool video to make, right? Guys, there you have it. There's my holiday video on how to make popcorn garland and cranberry garland. I hope that this inspires you to make a cranberry garland or a popcorn garland for your tree because I, hopefully I sold it. It looks so cute after we have all the lights and everything on it. I actually have to get tinsel from the store too. Thought it'd be fun to make a video where I let AI make my schedule. Cause I, I did, I experimented with AI asking her to make me a productivity schedule. And I thought it'd be funny if I just like let AI tell me what to do. I don't know, AI is interesting. Nobody knows what's good with it yet. So I figured I'd go around and find out. Merry Christmas guys. This isn't just for Christmas. You could make these for like all the fall and winter holidays. Just saying. And then you can put them outside and the birds can eat them. You could put these outside on your trees outside for the birds. You could also put dried apricots on them. You could put other types of like dried fruits, but this is a, a very budget friendly option. These were so cheap. I bought them during Thanksgiving time. So they were like literally very cheap. They stay fresh for a really long time. I've had these since like November 20th and it's December 6th right now. So I've had these for weeks. Anyways, subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more homemaking tips. Homemaking tips, makeup tips, general girl stuff. Subscribe for more girl stuff. Make sure you like the video to help other people find my channel. Go to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for being here. Until next time.